Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. So we are now on to the final dungeon of the game, Ganon's Tower. And there's two ways that we can uh, progress in this dungeon. I will of course be showing both of them off because I want to. These chests contain nothing. Anyways, so to progress on in here, uh, we need to... Uh, place a block down on that uh, switch, and we shall go right through. Fuck it. And now we have a tile room. However, this is a bit different to some of the tile rooms that we've seen, because once uh, all the tiles are cleared here, um, uh, it will actually unveil a chest. And all the tiles here, and uh, there's also a wall master and a anti-fairy in this room. And also, th those uh, lasers, um, that if you swing your sword, then it will shoot out a projectile. And we don't want that, so yeah, just slowly and painfully dodge everything. And we get a key. Hooray. Alright. So this is another room that I have to be a bit careful, because... There is a, another wall master here, because we can't have nice things. And just want to kill that uh, guy right there, so... Alright. So, once again, another room where we have to light all the torches, but... It's not that terrible. It's still pretty annoying, but... It's not that bad. can just uh, quick spin, or not quick spin, that's not until Ocarina of Time, can uh, spin attack uh, these guys, and yeah, and that guy dropped a f magic refill, which is pretty nice. And I fucked up, ah, damn it. Alright, we have to hit that switch with a bomb, and we have to hit it with another bomb in order to, you know, get across. That's how you do it. Alright, this is a room with four chests, as is quite obvious, but, you know. And they just contain some rupees, and arrows, and rupees, and holes. And we also have the compass. Anyways. This epic room, where we can grab a key right there. That was close. Can use the key on the door, and uh, I'm actually going to teleport back here because there's nothing else to show off here. Because the more I go down there is just going to be, you know, where I already were. And besides, yeah, both both ways will take you to the same area. Uh, that door on the right leads back to the area that we were like just below at. So, yeah. And this pot contains a key, just in case you actually fucking use that key on the door. That's useless. Like a lot of other dungeon dungeons in this game, this, this uh, place has a lot of optional keys. That you don't need to use. Alright. Another room where... Gotta kill everything. And, uh... For some reason, the, big, the mirror shield doesn't block the bones, which is odd. Anyways, once again, this just contains a lot more of nothing. Just a lot of rupees that I don't even need, but I'm... Again, I'm going to get all... All of the items, motherfucker. Alright. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we can actually go into here, which contains another chest, guarded by two fire bars. And it contains the map. Alright. So now I'm going to place a bomb right here. So we can close the thing. 
And we're, I'm going to place another bomb right here. If I place it too close to um, uh, that one, it will trigger it two times, which will mean that it just does nothing, so. Alright, I'm gonna stand on top of that thing and uh, hit that switch, which will give me invincibility frames. Ow. And when it's to progress, uh, I have to move that block and can get a chest with a key. And we have a small teleporter puzzle, but it's not that difficult. Uh, there's a crack in the wall right here. <coughs> we enter a room, and if we hit the switch on the right here... Uh, open to a room with more chests, and surprise, surprise, they don't contain much. Yeah, there's a lot of worth worthless chests in this game, or in this dungeon. But a lot of them are quite important when it comes to randomizer, so... Yeah, this, this place can be loaded if you're, if you're uh, doing open... Uh, if you open the tower from the beginning, but... Yeah... Alright, so we can skip this teleporter by getting damaged right there. And now we're into the room, so if you took the other way, um, you would also end up in this room. And to uh, get across this room, uh, you have to uh, navigate an invisible bridge, which you can light up with uh, by using the fire rod on that uh, torch right there. I knocked myself off like an idiot. Uh, you can na yeah, if, if you use a torch, you can... Uh, Reveal the bridge, which will allow you to get through here, and I'm also going to get knocked off again. Okay. However, you can just uh, bonk over, and it works all the same. All right. I'm gonna powder this anti fairy so it doesn't get in my way, and I'm going to bomb this uh, this floor right here. And. When we fall down the hole, we get a rematch against the Armos Knights, except they're even more piss easy than they were before, because we have the Silver Arrows. I couldn't hit that last one there for, so for some reason, what the hell. Anyways, we can now finally obtain the boss key. Ten arrows and bombs. And uh, if we go into uh, this room right here, we get a bunch of fairies, but I'm topped off on fairies for right now. Which, yeah. Let's hope it stays that way. Now we arrive to this floor, and we open the big chest, and we have the red mail. This provides even better protection than the blue mail. And now damage is reduced by 75% instead of 50. Which will be very, very useful as we ascend the tower. Because now that we have the boss key, we can now go up the tower. And, and I'm stuck. Okay, I'm fine. Sorry for that ding if you heard it. Oh my fucking god, these anti-fairies. Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, well, uh, that room utterly fucked me. <laughs> Alright, so more mimics here, but uh, we can easily get them over here if we... If we do that. Uh, that was, yeah. <laughs> More mimics, but once again, relatively easy, and they go down one arrow with uh, silver arrows, so. Yeah. Pretty overpowered at this point. Alright. So, gotta head over here. Hit the switch, uncover this, which contains a button, and I'm gonna... 
I accidentally pressed the wrong button. And I'm getting... Okay. There we go. I managed to get all the spikes gone. Nice. That never happens. Alright, this this uh, room's a cannonball room, but I won't let that bother me. And uh, this room, we have to uh, bonk off there. And this contains nothing but some fairies, but I'm going to take them because I took some damage. There we go. And we can just hookshot across. <sighs> All right, now we're going through what I like to refer as the gauntlet. Um, there's a lot of shit that we have to... There's a lot of rooms that we have to go through until we reach the top, so... Of course, provide this also provides some of the game's uh, greatest challenges, so... You know. Which, I mean, admittedly still isn't that difficult, as long as you're not an idiot like I am, but... You know, you, you, you can always be an idiot. And, uh, this... these laser statues are gonna... Okay. And hooray! Ice... ice rooms! I love ice rooms. They're great. Especially when you need to... Especially when you're getting shot at, and there's a lot of shit to deal with. It's... it's fantastic. Ah! Uh, okay. And here is a, uh, that guy. Uh, you can actually powder him and get... Fair. I'm pretty sure I've already showed that off, but why not? And now we're re rematching against Landmolus, but Silver Arrows are slightly, slightly overpowered. Only slightly. Alright. So this room has nothing. Alright, now we're at the second part of the gauntlet, and this is where things kind of start getting a bit real. Well, not right away, but, well, I, I, I don't remember exactly, actually. Oh god. Oh yeah, this room, which uh, tends to be a bit of a pain to do fast, because of these goddamn Wizrobe variants. I don't know what they are called. I don't know what most of the enemies in this game are called, because Zelda series is really well known for its strange enemy names. Alright. So this room uh, is another room where you have to light all the torches, however. So. Except you have to be a bit careful here. Alright, now we're in another eye room, but that's not much of a problem. A magic refill right here, which I'm going to need. In this room, we have to light all the torches once again, except the floor crumbles after a while. But you can easily just, uh, just deal with them. Alright. So that guy on the right drops a key, and these chests, once again, contain refills. <sighs> Alright, <clears throat> so we have to throw a bomb down here, which will blow up the wall, and a big spike, but we can, well, sometimes avoid it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna powder this anti-fairy real quick, just to get him out of the way, and I'm not doing it at all. Come on. There we go. Alright. And now we have our final rematch, which is against, uh... Which is against uh, the, the Moldworm, and uh, he goes down in two shots because Golden Sword is OP. That's really satisfying to do, I must say. Must have been satisfying for many people to do, and the uh, chest contains a red rupee. Once again, utterly useless at this point, but oh well. Or 
well, well whatever, really. Uh, Alright. So this room's uh, kind of a nightmare, but we can deal with it pretty easily. And now, here we are. It's time for Ganon. Oh, wait, no, it's Aghanim again. Fuck. Oh, it's great that you should come here all... That you could come here all the way. Oh, God. I am very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe me that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. Well, and he splits himself in two, three. Oh, my God. So, yeah. It's virtually the same fight, except that, um... Three of them. And you have to hit the one that's real. I'll attempt to use the net to get some hits in, but it's not it's not as reliable in this version of the fight because it's not as reliable in this version of the fight because um, you know you have three to deal with and you you can't. Damn it! I should probably not use the bug net for this. Uh, that's a bad one right there. Shit. Oh, well. There we go. And Aghanim is dead. But it turns out it was Ganon all along. Oh, my God. Except that we already knew that because the, the, the maidens told us. Who fucking raw? And he breaks a hole into the pyramid. Well, looks like we're at the end. But it's gonna have to wait until next time, so we'll see you sometime later. Bye.